Hello, hope you're doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a wedding RSVP website. The platform that we'll be using is Wix. With Wix, you'll be able to create a website for completely free. All you'll need is your email address. So you're going to go onto Wix.com. Then you're going to simply tap on sign up in the top right hand corner and you can enter your email address and from there you can create a password. After you have done that, you will be redirected to a page just like this. Once on this page, I want you to go over to the top right hand corner and you are going to select create new site. After you have tapped on create new site, you are going to be redirected to a new page. On this new page, we are going to tap on set up without AI. After selecting set up without AI, you'll be redirected to this page and all you'll need to do now, you could type in wedding right here. And if you want, you can also type in RSVP, then tap on that, tap on next. After you have selected next right here, you're going to enter your website name. So more than likely, you're going to be entering the name of the couple. So for example, you can enter, for example, I'll enter their initials right here. Then from there, you can enter next. So let me do that real quick. So you can see it right there. That's the name of my website. And I'm going to tap on next. After you have done that, you will be redirected to this page. You're able to choose the features that you want to be added to your website. So for example, if you would like to add a blog or so onto your website, you can do that. And if you would like to also add your Instagram feed or any other feature, you can do that to your website. All you'll need to do, you'll tap on next. Then you can see right here the different plugins. At the moment, we have the RSP, RSVP feature. And you also have the chat feature right here. If you like to add a blog, you can do that. And we are going to tap on next at the bottom of the page. After tapping on next, I would recommend that you tap on begin with a template. By selecting begin with a template, you'll be redirected to this page. And on this page, you will see numerous stunning templates that you can choose from. All you'll need to do is scroll down and you have numerous pages you can select. And this is one of the standout features of Wix compared to other website builders. As with their templates, you'll be able to create a stunning website even if this is your first time creating a website. All you'll need to do is tap on edit. And after you have selected edit, you're going to give it a few seconds. Then from there, you can start making some changes to your website and then you can publish your website. Once on this page, you have two options. You can either choose to tap on the box right here and you could type out some information about the couple. And from there, the AI will be able to compose different articles and stuff to add to your website. So you could type in the information right there, then select generate site text and it would do that. Or if you would like to do it manually, all you'll need to do is tap on the X to close it. Once you have done that, this is how your website looks at the moment. And to do any changes, all you'll need to do, first thing I would recommend is tap on the 50% right here and increase the zoom so you can see your website even better. Once on the page, from here we can start making some changes. So the first thing we're going to be doing, we're going to be changing the name right here. So you can tap on the name section right here. After you have done that, you can see the Wix events pop up and from here, you'll be able to arrange the Wix event and you will be able to set it up. So all you'll need to do is tap on create your first event. Then you're going to see a pop up window. Appear. Once on this page, all you'll need to do now, you can tap right where you see RSVP event. After you have done that, you can simply scroll down. And after scrolling down, you could add in the information. So you can give a short name right there. Then you can also enter the event category. So for example, you could type in wedding 
and then you could add the event image right there and you can scroll down and here you could add the date of the wedding so you can add the date you can also add the location right there and since it is a one-time thing it is not a recurring event you won't have to tap on that after you have done that you can scroll down select physical location enter the event location by entering the event location right here, it will also pop up a maps feature on your website that persons can use. Once you're finished, you would tap on save in the top right hand corner and it would save your changes. But I'm going to tap on cancel at the moment, so I'll leave it as is. So we'll do that. Then after you have done that, you will be redirected to the new page. So let me do that real quick. I'm going to tap on X right there. You are going to be redirected to your website. Now that we are back on our website, I will continue showing you how to make other edits. So for example, if you would like to change the background image, all you have to do is simply tap on any section. Then after you have done that, from here you will see section intro. So let's say for example, we want to change the background. We can simply hover over it. Then you could tap on quick edit. And from there, you will see numerous editing options pop up. So if you like to change the menu option, you could tap on manage menu. If it is a case that you like to edit this section, you could tap on it, then tap on change. So let's say we want to change the image. After you have tapped on change, you could tap on image. Then there's going to be a pop-up and you can upload an image from your device by tapping on upload media. Or if you would like to use a copyright image from Wix, you could simply type in wedding in the search bar right here. So let me do that real quick. After you have typed in wedding, you'll simply tap on enter. Then you'll see numerous copyright free images that you can use. So I could scroll down and you could select an image. Let's say for example this one. Tap on it, then select change background in the bottom right hand corner. And you'll realize that the background image has now changed. After you have done that, you could go back, then tap on the X in the top right hand corner. And from here, you can scroll down and you can continue editing your website. And if it is a case that you'd like to add text or a video or anything to your website and you don't see it at the moment on the template that you have chosen, all you'll need to do is go over to the top left hand corner tap on the plus which says add elements and from here you'll be able to add a text box by simply dragging and placing it you can also add images if you want you can add buttons if you want or if you would like to add a video you could scroll down select video and music from here you can add music so if you would like to set up music so that it automatically plays once someone visits your website you can also do that. There are numerous editing options that you can see by going over to the left hand menu option. And to view all the pages that are currently on your website, all you'll need to do is go over to the top left hand corner, tap where you see home. At the moment we have the home page, you have the map page, and then you have the events page. So by tapping right here, you can see the events page right here. So we'll tap on that. Then you can see how it looks right here. This is the section. And from here you'll be and also by simply hovering over the page and tapping on the pencil icon in the top right hand corner which says quick edit. And you can make changes to this section also. Once you have made all your changes, you're going to tap on save. Then after it has been saved, we'll tap on save and continue. Once it has been saved, you could tap on publish in the top right hand corner for your website to go live. But at the moment, I'm going to tap on preview so we can preview how it looks. So let's do that real quick. So if we were to tap on preview, select home right here, we'll be redirected to the home page. And you can see how the home page looks at the moment and you can visit all the pages. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.